In this video, I'll teach you how to make a hypnosis animation in Blender, which gives you a really cool effect when you look away from the video. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so press X to delete the default cube, then press Shift A and add a circle, then press Tab, then F to fill the circle, and then press S to scale. And then we can add some subdivisions as well to increase the number of polygons and make it smooth. And then next, we can select the light source and turn it into a sun for some lighting. And I'm going to set the strength to 4, which should be enough. And then next, we can go into the render settings. And I'm going to increase the number of samples in the viewport to 64 to increase the quality of the render in the viewport. And then drag the top right corner to add a new window. And let's go into the shader editor and select the circle and let's add a new material. Okay. And then let's go into rendered view so that we can see what it looks like. And then next we can increase the roughness to make the material look a bit more diffuse so that we don't get a lot of reflection and so on. And then press shift A and add a uh, gradient texture and then connect color to uh, color and this will allow us to add some slices to the circle and then next we need to add the mapping node and the uh, texture coordinate node which allows us to um, set the coordinates for the uh, textures as well as uh, transforming it through the mapping node and we're going to use the object type for the uh, texture coordinates, connect it to vector, and then vector to vector. And then we need to change the gradient type to radial, which allows us to add the slices to the uh, texture. And then next, we need to add the color ramp to separate the colors. And then to add some clear lines between the colors, we're going to set the color interpolation to constant. As you can see, we get uh, clear slices. And then we can set the position of uh, this color stop to 0.666. And then let's add another color. We're going to add three different colors to this hypnosis animation. And then next, we can uh, save before we continue. So go to File, Save As, choose a uh, folder for the project. I'm going to create a uh, new folder. Select the folder, give it a name, and then press Enter to save. And then next, I'm going to add some uh, math nodes to uh, add some additional slices. So uh, first we're going to add a uh, math node with the multiplication type, so just uh, search math. And then set the type to multiply. And as you can see, when we increase the value, we make more space for additional slices. And then to fill the circle with new slices, you just add another math node and set the type to fraction, which uh, just keeps the fractional part of a uh, fractional number and uh, fills the circle. Okay, and then we can increase the value to increase the number of uh, slices. But I'm going to set it to five for now. And then next, I'm going to press Control Shift S to create another save. I click on the plus sign and then save. And then press Shift D to uh, duplicate the uh, mapping node. And we will use the next nodes to twist the uh, slices. So I'm just going to move the nodes a bit closer so that we have some space for the additional nodes. And then let's uh, duplicate the uh, gradient node. And then next, let's uh, connect object from the uh, texture coordinates to the uh, vector input 
for the new mapping node and then vector to vector. And then let's set it to uh, spherical for the twisting. And then we can duplicate the uh, math node, connect color to value. And then next we can add a uh, combine x, y, set node and only use the x and y value for the rotation of the twisting. So connect the value to uh, set so that we only use the x and y axis and then connect the vector to the rotation. And as you can see, we can now control the twisting of the slices. Okay, so now we have all of the nodes that we need for this animation. And we now have a lot of different values to play around with to create the hypnosis animation that you want. You can, for example, play around with the multiply values. And you can also change the uh, color distribution of the uh, spirals, as you can see. And if you want to add some uh, variation and uh, random distance between each of the colors, you can also add a noise texture. So uh, Shift A and then noise texture. And then put it between the uh, gradient texture and the multiplication texture. As you can see, you can get some interesting patterns. But if you do not want any uh, kind of uh, abstract patterns, to your hypnosis animation, you can just uh, leave out the noise texture. And if you want some abstract renders, you can also put it in between the second gradient texture and the multiplication node, which uh, gives you some cool patterns as well. Okay, so let's continue with the spiral. And then we can uh, expand this window and then it's time to animate the uh, second multiplication node. So press I to keyframe, and I'm going to set the first value to 20. And then I'm going to uh, add additional spirals. So let's go to the last frame, and then set the value to around 100. And then press I to uh, keyframe the value. And then when you change the keyframe interpolation to linear, so that the uh, animation speed is constant. So press T and set the keyframe interpolation to linear, like this. And then next we can set up the output settings. So uh, I'm going to set the resolution to 8K, but if you want 4K, or 1080p, you can just uh, use the lower values and 30 FPS. And then you need to select a folder for the animation. So I'm going to create a new folder for this render. And then select the folder and then give the animation a name. And then I'm going to use JPEG to reduce the 8K file size. And then we can set up the uh, camera. So uh, press Control alt number 0 to set the camera to the current view. Then I'm going to move the uh, camera a bit uh, closer. And once you're done rendering, you can just reverse the clip and play it back and forwards forever. And you can also animate the rotation of the object to get some interesting results as well. Okay, so uh, let's render the animation. So I'm going to save one more time and then go to render and then render animation. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want more Blender tutorials, make sure to subscribe and check out my other videos. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe.